While the initial response to Windows 11 has been mostly positive, it's far from being perfect. In this video, I'll point out the major issues, along with the minor annoyances and regressive features you should know about before upgrading to Windows 11. Hopefully over time, Microsoft listens to user feedback and fixes these issues plaguing the operating system right now. Let's get started. First out of the gate, Microsoft has made the process of changing default apps a lot more difficult. Previously, you could easily change by category by selecting a category like web browser, email, video player, etc., and selecting an installed program from the list. In Windows 11, you now have a convoluted process where you have to go through a list of installed programs and selecting a program for each file type listed. For example, if you wanted to change your default web browser, go through the list and find a web browser that you have installed. I'll go with Microsoft Edge, which is the default for many file types like HTM, HTML, PDF, and many others. Now you have to manually change for each file type you want to associate with another program. Microsoft is betting that most novice users will find this process to be too difficult and just keep Edge as the default for many file types. There's nothing wrong with the Edge browser, but this shows Microsoft's desperation to reclaim a foothold in the browser market. Sadly, even if you change all the default types to another browser, clicking any web link in Search or in the Widgets panel will still open that web page in Edge. While the centering of the taskbar icons is refreshing for some people, the taskbar in Windows 11 is extremely limited and lacks any customization options compared to previous versions of Windows. If you want to resize the taskbar to make it taller or shorter, forget about it. Do you prefer your taskbar to the left or the right side or on top? Not happening. Did you enjoy that weather widget in the taskbar on Windows 10, showing the weather at a glance? Well, it's gone. Now you have to click the pathetic widgets panel to get the weather. Are you someone that right-clicked the taskbar for various settings and options? Now all you have is one listing for taskbar settings. One is truly the loneliest number. And if you have a multiple monitor setup, the date and time only appears on your primary monitor. The start menu has also been redesigned for Windows 11, and not necessarily for the better. For one, it takes up more real estate on your screen. For some, this might be a positive. If you're someone that enjoyed the live tiles to get information at a glance, they're gone. If you grouped a set of programs to the start menu, that can no longer be done. Now all you can do is pin individual apps. No longer can you see all programs in a scrolling list on the left. You now have to perform an extra click and click on all apps. The system tray to the right of the taskbar is not as useful and is more convoluted. No longer do you have the action center that combine notifications and quick settings. It's been replaced with a calendar with notifications that'll appear above. To the left of that, you'll see a sound and internet icon that are now grouped together. While you can turn on or off some settings quickly, the volume mixer is no longer available. All you can do is adjust the system volume and manage audio devices. When you right click on any file in Windows 11, they've condensed the context menus to only show you what Microsoft thinks are the most important options instead of showing you the full list of options available. If you don't see yours listed here, you have to perform an extra click and select show more options. You'll now see the full list available to you just like previous versions of Windows. This change seems unnecessary and should be reverted back to the way it was. Here's another interface change where Microsoft questions the intelligence level of its users. They've replaced the ribbon at the top of its File Explorer window, hence removing options that used to be visible. Now you have to perform extra clicks to see the options now hidden within the various submenus. Since being launched, Windows 11 has had a number of major bugs and performance issues, including the print nightmare bug that was also present in Windows 10. In fairness to Microsoft, no rollout of an operating system is perfect, They've had numerous issues with memory leaks, including the one that was a problem for File Explorer. They've also had bugs affecting performance, especially for those people with AMD devices causing audio glitches and stuttering problems. Some of these issues have since been patched, but shows why it's best to wait for bugs to get worked out before upgrading. One of the biggest issues, and why you may not want to upgrade to Windows 11, is the system requirements might be too high. According to Microsoft, you must have a TPM 2.0 security chip and a supported AMD or Intel CPU, of which some of those released in the last few years are not even compatible. It's been alleged that Microsoft does not want you upgrading to Windows 11. They'd prefer that you buy a new PC instead. It's been speculated that the only reason for Microsoft to release Windows 11 was to appease manufacturers and boost PC sales. 
If you've been using Windows 10 Home Edition, that does not require you to sign into your Microsoft account to use it, that all changes with the Home Edition of Windows 11. With Windows 11 Home Edition, you'll be required to sign into your Microsoft account to use it unless you upgrade to Windows 11 Pro. If not signing into your Microsoft account is important to you, and you don't need your Microsoft services synced to other devices, this might be a reason for you to hold off upgrading. I'll keep this one short. Windows 11 copies Chrome OS with a start menu that looks like their app launcher, and a notification area and system tray that now looks very similar. And even more egregiously, if you've used Mac OS, you'll notice Windows 11 has a familiar look and feel from the centered taskbar, rounded corners to the widget panel, albeit more cluttered. Note to Microsoft, you have the majority of the market share for operating systems on PCs. It's time for you to put on your big boy pants and truly innovate instead of just copying others. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What issues do you have with Windows 11 that you would like Microsoft to fix? Let us know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with the latest on Windows 11 and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Umbo.